So we're gonna leave this beautiful bay towards Kos to get some Greek network so we can upload. Sorry guys, we didn't film anything, uh, but we um, birthed in the marina, we're safe. Benjamin had an accident, he fell in the dinghy and cut his eyebrow a little bit. And I am Sharon. And this is our son, Benjamin. 2020 has been a year of adventures and challenges. We drove all the way from Amsterdam to Didem, Turkey to get to our sailing home. We did a total refit and now we can finally start sailing around the world while setting up and expanding our businesses. Join our adventures and welcome on board. Oh, good morning. Yesterday uh, we didn't put the engine on, so with a little bit of wind we got slowly, slowly to our destination here again. Back where it all started in Dida. Yeah. So we arrived in the dark, dropped anchor in front of the marina where we were for eight months. Now we're gonna seal in birth and let some final things. Hopefully it takes just a couple of hours and we can go again. So back to the place where it all began. Feels so stupid. It's okay for you. Yeah. Okay. Life okay. is always happening for you. That's so right. So maybe we weren't yet uh, ready to set sail towards the south of uh, Turkey and towards Cyprus. Maybe because of bad weather that is coming. You never know. No, that's right. That's right. I just got a message from another Beneteau 57 owner and he said. Oh man, I had the same. You always have the small problems in the in the beginning. It's just happening for you. So yeah. So here we are, back at Demer in Didem. What do you think about the view? It reminds me to something. I don't know what exactly. Benjamin, do you remember? After a stop of a couple of hours, we are leaving again. Herman is uh, handling the helm. I didn't get a boat of the cane. Ah, you did an amazing job. I got a little bit nervous. Yeah, because we had side wind. If you don't give a lot of throttle, then you don't gonna make it. And uh, I'm always a little bit too cautious with the throttle. Yeah. You know you're not, you're gentle. The guy from Royal Marine did an amazing job. They fixed it just in a couple of hours. They put some extra Felcron on the on the front. Marina life is just not for us anymore. It's uh, we came back in the, in the marina and it we saw everything and everybody and it was great to meet the guys from the sailor pub, from Yardworks and Benjamin was saying Atish, Atish. That's all amazing, but we are made for the sea. So don't know where we're gonna anchor uh, tonight. So we decided just to go sailing. Let's see where we end tonight. Captain, we are sailing and motoring. That's right, because it's getting dark and it's charging the batteries. And we don't want to anchor in the totally darkness. No, when we have a little bit of light, that would be nice. But where are we going? We are going a little bit north of Didem. Yeah, because over there is a marina. Yeah. But we had to go against the wind. So we had to do a detour. So we have a little bit of a slow morning, but this is where we woke up today. It's not the most beautiful bay, but... We had a good night. We slept pretty good, very quiet, so that's good. And uh, now uh, after doing some work, we're gonna set sail again off to uh, some beautiful spots here. to leave we're um, picking up the anchor but there are some curious things on our anchor chain I'm gonna ask Carmen to show you I just throw it in the water but it's slimy sticky and I can't it's 
like this. I have no clue what it is. Let's see how much is going up. Crazy, never saw this before. Take it. It looks like squid, but I don't think so. Do you remember, Jelle? What? Badum. Yes, of course. We were there at the boatyard, La Galar. And here Beautiful at the... Beautiful castle. Yes. And now we're gonna drop anchor again. After one and a half year with a new boat. Yeah. And now we're not the only sail boat. No, there is another one, huh? But we sail into the bay. That's magnificent. We sailed all the way today from uh, behind Didem to here around 40 nautical miles only by sail. Modern and, and 
they got a lot of pushback in the beginning and a lot of comment and negativity but they just kept on going and I bought every book they made published just because I love them how they do it and the perseverance but also they have great great recipes so with us being 80% vegan um, yeah we really love the green happiness uh, for everybody who's interested I'll put the link down below to, um, to their website I think they started even in English right now but most of it is in Dutch but um, yeah if I find the English versions I will put them in the link below Okay. Frozen fruits, uh, chocolate smoothie, and oh. some frozen fruits and for Benjamin as an ice cream. Oh wow! We're gonna do some exploring. The castle! It should be fantastic for kids, Benjamin, with peacocks. So uh, we're gonna see. Hilarious, Benjamin is chasing the peacocks and Riala is running behind Benjamin to protect them. Yeah. What happened? <laughs> dog, dog, dog. Benjamin found his favorite thing here in the castle and it's the big crane! What do you think Benjamin? Whoa! What is it doing? amazing day we discovered the peacocks in the castle Benjamin loved it Benjamin loved the dinghy rides and it's finally getting a little bit warm really this summer feeling and um, it's gonna change tomorrow probably the wind is gonna shift to the northerlies again so that means the cold is coming back from the, um, from the land but for now I'm enjoying it and having my all-time best partner, lover, husband is getting uh, sushi for the both of us so Benjamin will probably sleep a little bit more because he was really exhausted we've done so many things our last couple of weeks uh, we've built this emails and we've designed this beautiful online course which we've been working on for the last couple of years but probably our whole lives to be honest and it is about how do you live on your own terms how do you create a financially independent life but live with meaning fulfillment realize dreams and yeah just yeah what we do but not per definition sailing it doesn't matter what you want to do but just even with a pandemic that is happening right now 
to be honest, it doesn't impact us. We really live our best lives every day and we love being entrepreneurs. We are high achievers, so we do a lot of different things. So this online course is going to be six modules um, in six weeks. We're going to give a lot of value and a lot of transformations. It's going to focus on getting the right mindset to getting very clear what you want from your life. Because if you don't know what you have to ask, you will not receive it. Yeah, how to create financial independence and protect and grow your wealth. And we have so many, so many surprises. Yeah, we just can't wait to put this precious piece of quality content of an online course out there for the world to see and to watch. And yeah, just to inspire and enable as much people as possible to live their most preferred lifestyle, their dream life on their own conditions and based on freedom and independence. most handsome man in the world with one of the most delicious food and that is sushi yes we're eating sushi in turkey yeah. boys will be boys <laughs> Some bad weather coming our way, it just started to rain. First time wearing your sailing jackets. A life vest. A life vest. Oh, it's so amazing to see dolphins. I think we have five or six here at the bow. Incredible. Where? Oh, here. Whoa. 